Hey Aries, this is going to be your general mid-monthly reading for the remainder of January. Any information you need, you can find it in the description box down below. Um, I do have personals open for the time being. However, I believe those will be closed this week. Um, I may leave them open for another week, but I'm trying to close them this week so I can focus more on my new channel, which there's a link to that down below if you want to check it out. Also, Aries, um, what else was I going to say? Oh, there is a bonus. There's going to be a bonus for... Um, all 12 signs for the mid monthlies over on my Patreon page. I also do other bonus content over there, so if you want to check that out, the link is down below. Let's go ahead and start here for you, Aries. What's going on with Aries mid monthly, mid January? Goodness, this shuffle just does not feel right to me. One second here, Aries. Everything just feels like kind of stuck together. It's irritating. Okay. Here we go. Wow, I didn't expect that last one. Overall, drum roll please. Okay. Athlete. Athlete. Light attributes. Dedication to transcending physical... <clears throat> Physical limits, including handicaps. Development of personal willpower and strength of spirit. Shadow attributes. Misuse of athletic ability for selfish ends. False sense of invulnerability and entitlement. Man. Let's see. Because you got Rebel as your first card. Uh, so, light attributes. Challenges authority to affect social change. Good. Reject spiritual systems that do not serve inner needs. Hmm. Shadow attributes. Rejects, lim uh, rejects legitimate authority out of anger. Rebels out of peer pressure or fashion. Let's look. Let's look. These cards here are something else. I tell you. Okay. What's going on with Rebel? <clears throat> What's going on with Rebel here for Aries for the remainder of January? Seven of Wands. Yeah, I feel like you've got to be on defense here. Now, I have to tell you what, I feel like you're about to break through that here with athletes showing up as your overall energy. Dedication to transcending physical limits, including handicaps, development of personal willpower, and strength of spirit. I think your focus is going to be very much on your health in the remainder of January and... At least up until the end of spring, I want to say. It's at least going to be very... Like, it's going to be plaguing your mind here for some reason. Um, so focus on your health is what I'm feeling here. I'm not a doctor, by the way. Not a doctor, but that's what I'm getting there from that. Um, like, you feel like you're not capable of something. I think that's why Rebel is here. <clears throat> I think you're mostly challenging yourself. You know, it's not... It's an invisible authority, you know. It's the mind. So I think that you are uh, feeling a little bit tricked out of something by your mind here. You're rebelling against that two of cups. Oh, there is like a really... That was like really heartwarming here. It's like there's finally a union with somebody. You're finally on the same page as them. And it doesn't feel... God, I just, it doesn't feel like you've been away from them, you know. It feels like they've been there the whole time. But it's like there's a, there's a breakthrough is what that is. There's a breakthrough... Somebody could have Mars in Leo or Venus in Cancer. So don't think that this is someone who you've not spoken to in forever. You know, the the toxic runner chaser phase kind of thing. No, this feels like someone you are in connection with regularly. And there's a breakthrough with this individual. What else is happening here with this? With Rebel. You're like rebelling against your ego too. And ego is not like this terrible, horrible thing that needs to be destroyed, but it does need to be balanced. And, you know, I think that your pride's been getting in the way here and you're finally softening. You're able to open up here and get out of that defensive energy. I think you've been rebelling against the wrong things. I think you've been fighting for the wrong team here. And now you're realizing what, what matters, what's important with the Ten of Cups energy. Mars in Pisces. Wow, Aries. I think you already know that this energy is coming. Like, you can feel things breaking, you know? You can feel things breaking apart. Like, you feel you feel something big coming. Um, it, it might feel kind of heavy at, at this point in time. But it's like you... That's the best way I can describe that. It's like you feel things breaking apart. That's what that is, okay? You feel it in the heart space here. 
go to a doctor if you've got like pressure in your chest or something crazy but you know that's that's what I mean by that like you feel yourself softening here visionary light attributes capacity to envision what is not yet conceivable to others that's what it is too it's like this faith is going to be very important to you at this time capacity to envision what is not yet conceivable to others willingness to pro proclaim a vision without regard for personal gain mm. Shadow attributes, selling insights to the highest bidder, compromising your vision to make it more acceptable. Damn. These cards are like super, super brutally honest, okay? What else do we have here? Nine of Pentacles, okay. It's not that you're not looking to achieve stability. I think that maybe you've just kind of been pursuing it in the wrong way. Um... You know, and who am I to say that? I'm not. It's the cards, okay? You've got the Three of Wands in the reverse position and the Page of Wands in the reverse position, okay? So it's like you've been trying to take something on as your own, but it can't be your own because it's somebody else's. And I don't know how to how else to break that down, but that's what I feel here. Let's look at Shadow Attributes again. Selling insights to the highest bidder, compromising your vision to make it more acceptable. Seems like that compromising your vision to make it more acceptable is... Um, most accurate right here in this situation because nine of pentacles is like independent financial uh stability here so it's like you've kind of tricked yourself um it's possible that you've tricked yourself like you want something more than where you are is basically the energy that i feel here you wanted something more like your vision said something else and you're like well this this is what works for me because i'm limited in this way that way and that way so this is what works for me this is what's best for me and it's like, mm, or is it the low-hanging fruit, you know? That kind of energy here. Let's uh, let's get some clarifiers out because I don't want to move on to that card yet. That looks super heavy, so I want to know what I'm, um, what I'm working with for that. What's going on with the Seven of Wands? The Tower and the Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, working to rebuild here because I feel like you have rebelled against a belief system, a structure, an institution of some sort. Could have been striking or something of that nature here for something. Um, what's going on with the Two of Cups? It's like there's been forgiveness, too, with this Two of Cups. This Two of Cups feels super heavy to me. It feels like, you know, whatever you're rebelling against there, like, had its had its grips, you know? It's like, oh, God. Ten, Ten of Cups. It's like it really kept you from that. Ten of Cups is a card, for those of you who aren't familiar with the tarot and their meanings. It's like your own personal happiness, how you define wish fulfillment. This could have involved a Scorpio, a Virgo, or another Aries. How about the Two of Cups? What's going on with that? What's happening with it? King of Cups. Scorpionic energy, moving into a state of balance. King of Cups is comfortable with the ebb and flow of life, death, you know, endings, beginnings, right? So yeah, he's comfortable in any emotion, even the darkest ones. So um, I think a lot is coming up for you at this time here, Aries, and you feel it. It's like you feel things shaking here, and you're like, when is it? You know, it's like there's this t tension, this anticipation. It's, um, what else is happening here? Four of Pentacles. Yeah, this has got to be for someone specific here. There's something you've been holding on to here, and it's like it's just getting bigger and bigger and bigger. It feels like this is an illusion that you're shattering here with the tower. Like you, you thought of something a certain way. You created a new vision that kept you comfortable, like it was an excuse of some sort, right? Right, the high priestess, because that's coming out. High priestess in the reverse position. High priestess upright is secrets. This could have involved a Pisces or a Capricorn if this is involving a lover, but... Emotions are just pouring out here. You know, the heart space, it's, um, you know, that's been blocked. I think that's coming undone here. You got the, uh, to, that's what's breaking up there. How about the Ten of Cups? <clears throat> Seven of Wands. Yeah, you're seeing how you have, like, blocked your own happiness in a situation here. Two of Wands. Um, and you're initiating, like, you are taking initiative there. Like, you are taking the lead on this. Nine of Swords. You're looking at the things that are making you uncomfortable or the things that you've been avoiding here. You know, um, I think you're rebelling against that mindset. What, whatever it was, it just kept you safe. You know, I think you're realizing that you can do better than just being safe. Um, so yeah, wow. Let's look at the Nine of Pentacles, Page of Wands reversed, and the Three of Wands in the reverse position. What's going on with the Nine of Pentacles up right here for Aries? <clears throat> What's going on with that? Queen of Swords, Libra energy, 
Seven of Swords, Moon and Aquarius, and the Knight of Cups, Pisces energy here. Yeah, Knight of Cups is a dreamer, a visionary, and you have the Seven of Swords. This is a card of deceit, the Queen of Swords. Um, she is a card of somebody who can see the truth, but she's also put a lot behind her. You know, that Seven of Swords is sitting, like her back is facing that Seven of Swords. So I definitely think that you're putting that energy, if you know what, I'm tricking myself. I feel like you're putting that behind you here. It's like you know that you can do better. You know that there is a better, you know, there's a bigger vision you have for yourself here, Aries. How about the Page of Wands reverse? What's that about? You could fall out with another fire sign here. It's like something didn't hold up. A vision didn't hold up long term. What's going on with that? Five of Cups. The Chariot. And yeah, it's disappointing, but you're, you're moving on here. <clears throat> you're like, I've wasted enough time. Four of Wands. Some of you, you're wanting to move homes. I feel like the last two years have been very heavy for you. So for those of you where you've not gone through this heavy energy, it's like you, you felt it a few years ago, probably 2020 or 2019. 2020 was a year for everyone, but, you know, I think that it obviously it hit some people harder, you know. Um, and I think that you're in a space where you're finally recovering from that. You could have suffered a great loss um, in 2020 or 2019. Um, I feel like there's communication about that or you're coming to terms with something. Five of Swords, yeah, you're looking back on something here because there's two fives <clears throat> and I saw the Five of Wands as well. It showed up somewhere around there. Yeah, I don't see it now, but it was, oh, there it is. Yeah, um, it was on the bottom of the deck just a few seconds ago. And, um, you know, the fives, they talk about chaos, conflict, change, um, confusion, right? Five of Swords, though, is it can be a card of chaos, conflict, change. Mainly since it's the swords, it's like mental confliction, right? Or mental conflict is what I should say. Um, but here, you know, there are three figures in the card. And they're all different sizes. To me, that can talk about development, growth, being at different stages of something here. I feel like you're finally at the front. You know, you're looking back on something, seeing how it served you or seeing what you learned from it, coming to terms with how you feel about it. You know, it's like you're making up your mind is basically the energy that I feel. And Five of Swords can be a card of like pettiness, but it's it's someone who will win at all costs. And, you know, I think that you're really trying hard to defeat your mind, whatever is limiting you here whatever is uh, holding you back and taking away from your desires. That's why the Page of Wands is in the reverse position. Whatever ideas you have here, it's like you immediately talk yourself out of them or they only go so far and you don't, you know, you don't stand on those. Like there's no follow through. Three of Wands reverse. Eight of Swords. Yeah, that's a mental prison here. Um, what was that one? Ace of Swords. Good. Okay, so you're cutting yourself free here. That's mental clarity. By the way, the Chariot is for movement. It's victory. It's, you know, powering through all obstacles. And the Four of Wands can be the home. Um, it can be uh, just laying down new roots anywhere. It's a, a card of celebration. But the Eight of Swords to the Ace of Swords, it's like there is mental clarity here. You're cutting yourself free. And I think for a lot of you, that starts with a specific connection to someone here. It could be a sibling, but it's like you reach complete and total clarity about something. Your heart is open. There's an understanding. There's a new understanding. It doesn't have to be a sibling, but um, it's definitely someone you're close with here. Definitely someone you um, had a past life connection with. You have the Addict card. Light attribute helps you recognize and confront addictive behavior, which you can be addicted to your limitations. Shadow attributes compromises integrity and honesty, allows an addictive pattern to have authority over your inner spirit. I mean, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, look at that. Come on. What's going on with addict for Aries here, mid-January? Ace of Wands. Yeah, you're, you're moving into the light attributes, but I think you've been in the shadow here, um, but you're moving into um, the light. Helps you recognize and confronts addictive behavior. I think there's something tough happening to you here, or it has happened, one of the two. The devil, yeah, that's addictions. T Seven of Cups, temptations. My, my goodness, you guys. Shattering illusions completely. You could have been addicted to some kind of fantasy you know, a safe space of yours, right? you got the devil. You know, the devil can be um, like the excess of anything, like too too much of something, okay? And then you've got like overconsumption, seven of wands, temptation, confusion, dreams, fantasies, illusions. This is also open doors, you know? It's um, 
it's, it's options, right? It's options. So I think that there are a bunch of new avenues that are available to you here, but it's like you've got that devil energy holding you back. But I also feel that on the same token, that seven of cups is temptation for those of you who have gotten away from it to go back to it. It's like going back to what's comfortable because the moon can talk about the unknown, okay? Uh, the things that we cannot see. Sometimes this can say be cautious. There are things that you're not aware of, right? It can also represent your 1515 on the camera. It can also represent your intuition, your instincts, your emotions, okay? So yeah, um, I think that those are getting the best of you at this time and they could be causing some chaos. So for those of you who have gotten through that energy, this could be just like something in mid-January is shaking you up. And what is that? What's the Ace of Wands about? Ace of Wands. Yeah, it's... <laughs> it's um, now, Ace of Wands can represent a trigger... A passionate new beginning, an awakening, a spark, a gift. It could be a physical gift here. Like somebody's offering you something. You're like, I don't know. I haven't, oh, no. I haven't done that in a while or I don't I do not do that anymore. You know, you, it could be something as simple. It's not simple. It's not small. I hate for it to sound small. Maybe you're celibate. <clears throat> Ace of Wands. You know, maybe you're celibate. And uh, there's, there's that kind of energy being offered to you. And you're like, no, I don't, you know, I haven't. So it's like there's something here basically. Let me, let me just get it straight. There's something here, potential for it to happen, and you're not going to be proud of it if you do it. You're not going to be proud if you do it, so just keep that in mind here. Think of how you're going to feel on the other side of that choice. Justice. Do what's right. Do what's right, okay? Do what's right. Three of Swords, or you're going to feel it, okay? You're going to feel it if you don't. How about the Devil and the Seven of Cups? Three of Cups. Yeah, okay, good. See, getting away from that, there's celebration with that. Think of your, you guys got to think of yourself on the other end of that, truly, okay? Because you've done so much work here. I'd hate for you to go back, Aries. Ace of Pentacles, um, that is potential for stability, for a new beginning. And there's a group of people here that you can lean on. You've got the Three of Cups here. So that, that is a group of people that you can lean on. So a social circle of some sort. There could be a Virgo in the mix here, a Capricorn, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, Two of Pentacles, yeah. It's like there's something that is shaking up your stability um, with the Two of Pentacles showing up. Like something is out of balance here. You know, and that could be because you're looking for answers. You know, you're, you're looking for answers and you can't find them. And the, the Hermit can be a card of looking within. Like, first of all, you don't have to have all the answers. You're not meant to have all the answers. But second, you have the answers that you're meant to have. Therefore, you have the answers. I, that's the best way I can, you know, put that there. It's because, like, you know, those of you who are looking for closure, for example, it's like you're, you're tricking yourself into thinking there's something more, you know? Um, so for a lot of you, I think that's what it is. It's like, it's not this big thing. It's not this big thing that you think it is. It's just, it is what it is, you know? Oh, hair, hair font in reverse. So, yeah, something coming undone here. Again, you already, like, this is confirmation for those of you who have felt this. I know that it's a heavy one. Just go ahead and watch out for your other signs if this is not for you. This could be a marriage turning upside down. If that's the case, I think it could be healed. I think there's potential for that to be fixed here. Queen of Wands, because there is a coming together with a person. Like, you have the courage, you have the strength to face what has what has held you back here. Because the world card can be a card, uh, it's a Saturn card. Saturn is the planet of boundaries, limitations, restrictions, things of that nature. Then you have the Ten of Swords reversed, so something gets turned around. Something gets healed, you know, whatever was we weighing you down here in this card. You know, he is just exhausted, he's pinned down, he feels like he can't get up. Ten of Swords reversed, like that pressure lets up, the delays, they let up. What's going on here? And it's like, I don't even want to say they let up because Queen of Wands energy here, it's like you did that. You did that. Like you just got up with those swords in you. That's why the athlete is your overall here, the lovers. Yeah, you made a decision to make a change here to heal something. Page of Wands to go after your desires, your passions here. So yeah, I mean the star card can be a card of destiny as well. You have the Ten of Pentacles, your legacy. <clears throat> I think this is something that's been on your mind for a while if it resonates. So, um, yeah, consider that your confirmation here, Aries. <clears throat> this is pretty big, but it is specific. So I do recommend you watch out for your other signs. Don't forget that there is a bonus over on Patreon. <clears throat> I'm so sorry. If you want to check that out, the link is down in the description box. But if this is where we part, thank you for watching and supporting me this far. And you enjoy the rest of your month. Bye.